Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Zach Attack2995 here. And I am back to Detroit Become Human. Uh, in case you guys are wondering, my dad is doing pretty good. Uh, I came back and I watched Money in the Bank. And then I just got so tired <laughs> from being disappointed with that show that I just decided not to stream. So today, since I'm actually off from work today, I had requested the day off. Uh, and I figured, you know, why bother going in if I don't have to? I figured I would play some Detroit Become Human. Did you know Detroit was on the Underground Railroad? A route for slaves escaping into Canada during the American Civil War? Thanks for that little history lesson there, Chloe. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing some Detroit Become Human, which you know what that means. Horrible decisions ensuing. Now, I got to build up my relationship with Hank because uh, that's not going too well. So, if you guys are excited, uh, make sure you guys let me know. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up when this gets exported to YouTube. So, with that being said, let's do this. As Brock Lesnar would say, let's do this. Oh wait, is it the is this the factory that uh, Marcus McKay was talking about? Oh, so we doing this? All right, all right. Good to know. Oh yeah, there's North. Uh, <laughs> that conversation with her last time did not go well. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. All right. Ah, uh, can I, can I, alright, there we go. I can't, <laughs> thank you, I need to run. Right. Okay. Come on, don't dude. Let don't let who see us. What are you talking about? Alright, well, if you guys are doing fine, I should be able to do fine as well. North, wait up! <laughs> You're going too fast. Watch out. Okay. Oh, one of those little drones. All right. Now what do we do? I'll find another way. Okay. Uh, that's yeah. Thanks. Oh, okay. We oh, we're doing the parkour. We're doing the parkour. Okay. We're doing what the kids do. We're doing the parkour. Parkour guard Marcus. Yeah, I want to go up with uh, North. Yeah, parkour. I'm Rob Van Dam. Oh, there it is. We're almost there. Seth Rollins. Ooh. Okay, yeah, there we go. Wow, look at this dude. Yo, the moves! I got the moves, man. Okay, wait, there's a drone right there. 
Cyberlife warehouses. Okay. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Yeah, I agree. Leave it to me. Okay. <laughs> All right then. Uh, let's figure this out. <laughs> As an AI, I've got to uh, search all different possibilities. Okay, so uh, L2. Let's see. <laughs> Would be spotted. Uh, yeah, I figured that wasn't gonna work. That's a little too easy. All right. Uh, okay. It would be too high. Damn it! Okay. Uh, what else can we do? Oh, okay. Uh, can I go over there? Damn it! it would be too far. Okay, well, what do you want me to do? Oh. Gotcha! I'm gonna hit it with a <laughs> running meteora. Or a diving meteora. One of the two. Yeah, that works. Here we go. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh my goodness, the meteora! Oh, well, hold on. Shit! No! You okay? Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm fine. Alright, thank God I got it. Good job, Marcus. That was a close one. Thank you, North. Yeah, Wait, she's starting to like me. Take as much as you can. Crates. Okay. Uh, hey, hey, guys, guys, I'm trying to get through. Wow, buttholes. All right, these, <laughs> these motion controllers. I almost forgot there. Okay. Uh, is there any more? Because this probably isn't enough. It's never enough. Yo, know, this dude. You were trespassing on private property. Oh my god, what a brown nose. It's a level two infraction. I will notify security. Uh, John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? God damn it. Grab and hide. Alright, come on, dude! John! If you talk, you die. Help. John! Damn it, the knife! Hold. Shit, that probably wasn't a good idea. First the drone, now this. <laughs> Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. All right, check the bigger crate. Where is that at? Oh, hold on. This one of the little robots from Robocop. Is that what we got here? One of the drones. Yo, what the hell? <laughs> what kind of shit? Why aren't you like us? I was not designed to be like you. Do you want to be free? Free them. You could join us. Yeah. The Android Revolution begins. Welcome, my brothers. Welcome to the brood. Another relationship with North. 
That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. Oh, that big dog. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just yeah. leave him. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. Of course we can. They come with us. Damn it, North. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Okay. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human two guards. Two human guards. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. This is suicide markers. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people yeah, have see, to Yeah, see, now you think it's a good idea, huh, Nori? Make up your damn mind. Wait here. If I'm not back in ten minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Yeah, see, now you like me. <laughs> the, the whole back and forth gimmick. Come on, Nori, make up your mind. First you like me, then you hate me. It's like, wait, oh, oh, hold on. Yeah, let's do that. Do that, do that, do that. Get that up. Got it. Get there. Okay, let's see. Find the key. Goddamn dogs. What the? Where where is it at? Fuck Where's the key? Like Could be the weather. They don't like storms. God damn it! I was gonna take my kids camping. Deal this with weekend. the guards. How am I gonna do that? So much for that. Does Mike still I don't so know far? what to do. <laughs> Cause a blackout. Looks like uh, it. And he should be done already. Is there like Maybe anything else I can do? Ah, uh, that's one option. Hey, <laughs> is there a gun? It doesn't look like there's a gun. Oh, but hold on, there's something right here. What is this? No! No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Cause like, what if we need to get out of here, you know? Oh yeah, like, what if we need to get out of here? If I cause a blackout, then like... Well, hold on, what the f... No, no! I don't want to cause a blackout, dude. Put that shit back. God damn it. Damn it! I don't want to cause a blackout, because it's... Like, if I need to get out of here, how am I going to get out of here? Damn you, game! Shit, what's going on? Oh no, 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 no! I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. Uses are over there. I don't know shit about electricity. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, I I came over here. Right? What the fuck? There must be someone in here. Bruh. <laughs> no. Show yourself. We know you're here. No, wrong way, Marcus. What are you doing? I don't know what you think you're doing, but you better come out right now. Okay. Where are you guys? Where are you? Where are you? Where are they? Dude. I'm trying to find y'all. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Nice. Alright. 
Get, in, get inside. Okay, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but you know what? I'm the ultimate opportunist. Hurry, get in. I see an opportunity, I take it, and I make the best of it. I make the best of my situation. <laughs> and that is why I am the best Detroit Become a Human player ever. Now, hopefully we can get out of here. Hopefully the blackout didn't fuck that up. You know I me, mean? it probably did. All right, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Damn it. Yes! Thank you! Oh my god, I, dude, I was so scared that I wasn't gonna make it, to be honest. I was so truck scared load. that Blackout was gonna fuck it up for me. We stole a whole truck We load. got bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. Shucky ducky, quack quack. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never gonna come. But I don't want that Nah. Freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or Mark stand the tall. Mark God. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not going to take that from me anymore. Our days I of slavery in the mix are now. over. <laughs> and then the gang what is all here. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we, we take, take what we want, and we want the gold, we sucker. And <laughs> we come we for alive. you, Hogan. We are free. Yeah! Alright, let's see here. Jericho's hero. I've always considered myself to be a villain, but I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. Man, yo. Bruh, look at the way, like, this shit branches out, dude. This could have gone a whole different way. Ah, uh, man. I, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't have to kill no one. Alright. That seems good to me. So, let's continue. Oh, yeah, here we go. This is what I've been waiting on. Let's get these sexy androids here. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside yeah, my skull. Yeah, we shouldn't have been doing all that drinking then, dude. Are you sure this is the place? It's the address in the report. Okay. Let's get going. I want to hear some Skrillex in this club. Bing ring. Yeah, Hank still hates me. <laughs> we gotta try. We gotta try to build that up a little bit. Because every time we build it up, we just ruin it. So I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming yeah, dude, here. Dude, I'm trying to get a lady friend. You got a problem with that? Oh, wait, is that Kodabushi right there? Nah, I ain't trying to look. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Number uh, three. Connor! I'm taking a look. Hey, chill out. Coming, Lieutenant. <laughs> what, I can't look? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, dude. You're not going to take my license, are you? I mean, I, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey guys, I'm here. Hey, it's your hey. boy, Connor. Hey, man, how's it going? Good to see. 
left that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there. Who? Too. Oh, great. Dead oh, body. Please don't bathe. Don't me. Lieutenant Anderson. Ah, oh, damn plastic. it, this yeah. dude. What the fuck are you two doing? <sighs> We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Why are you wasting your time? You're some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he are can handle. Are you sure about that? <laughs> We'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh starting to stink of booze in here. Man, you tell me you really didn't just do that. No, Lieutenant. Bro, I swear, if I ever get the choice to fuck you up, I will. <laughs> Alright, examine the victim, examine the android. Alright, let's examine the dude first, because that's probably like that police detective shit right there. Always examine the victim first. Wait, what was that? Cardiac arrest? Huh. Okay. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> Neck? Was it a vampire android? Oh, wait. Severe bruising. Signs of strangulation. Cause of death. Asphyxiation. Hmm. See, that's one of those college words that I don't really use a whole lot of. <laughs> Uh, Gr Michael Graham, six foot two, estimated time of death six twenty four. Reconstruct. Let's see what we got here. Do 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 boo. All right, so the and the lady android uh, straddled him and started strangling him. All right then. Well, that's not the worst way to go, <laughs> to be honest. Probably not the worst way to go. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. That didn't prove anything, though. Could have been mm. a rough play. We're missing well, something. Let me here. analyze. I think you can read the end. Oh, hey! <laughs> Come oh, on, Connor, man. That's so part of my disgusting. job. I gotta do this. I think I'm gonna puke again. Like, what do you expect me to do? Dude. If I got a, the blue blood, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's connect. Reactivation required. Homest. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate. Oh shit. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Oh, here we go. I just hope it's long enough to learn something. <laughs> Time to fuck this up, y'all know me. Oh my god, the three buttons! <laughs> Alright, calm down, calm down. Calm down, just need to ask you some questions. Okay, uh, soothe. Calm down. Everything's alright. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... Is he, he is. Dead? Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me... again. And again, I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. It was like... Did you kill him? No. No, it wasn't me. Were you alone in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said, there was two of us. What model? What model was the other android? Did it look like you? <sighs> Damn it, man. Come on. What am I supposed to do with this info? So there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, yeah, Hank, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. An eyewitness? I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know Hold if you think Hold on a anything. second. 
Oh, here we go. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, he came here in maybe two, go. three times. I mean, these guys, this is exactly what I wanted to do. Come in. Do their business and then go their way. I don't have a fingerprint, Hank. I need you to help me out with this. No way. Oh. Right, hold on. We lost a model two, three months. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Alright, Hank, I need you to do this for me. Can you rent this, Tracy? <laughs> Fuck's sake, Look, Connor, we got better things to Hank, do. Hank, please, Lieutenant. Come on. Just trust me. Dude, trust me. Uh, hmm? I know your first impulse is to not trust me, but I need you to do that. Thirty dollars. Well, that's not too bad. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. Yeah, you got that. Right. I mean, who cares? It's not like you got a wife or anything, though, right? Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Now I do my thing. Oh, got a prover. That went well last time. Holy oh, shit. No, the, the, the three button. Alright, hold on. Oh, hold on. She's got blue hair. I blue hate Tracy was heading towards the end. Damn it, dude. I didn't see where she went. Hold on. It saw something. What are you talking about? Saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory oh, every two hours. no, 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 we no, We only have no. a few minutes if we want to find another witness. No! <laughs> Damn it! Let's try this one. This better be working. Trust me, dude. It'll be fine. Damn it. Yes! It turned back into the club. Homest? Okay, uh. Hold on. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. It they go probably for it. went. There are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue hair? I know which direction. Yes. Yes. So far, so good. All right. Uh, all right, dude. Let's see what you know. Damn it. Damn it, dude! I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. No. I lost its track again. Uh, what about give it up, give it up, you? Damn it, dude! You're in my sight. Fuck. You didn't see anything. Uh, made a mistake somewhere. Yes. All right. Uh, I went to that room. All right. There. Okay. All right. So the scan. It went here. I think. All right. Well, now where? Okay, you probably saw it, right? Ooh, hidden a room. Here we go. Gotcha. Who 
already left the room. Damn it! Where'd it go? Alright, dude. Did you see it leave? What the hell? Man, that was like the least helpful shit, bruh. No. I lost its track again. Damn it, dude. This dick right here. Spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. You alright, the janitor probably saw something. Private set. Alright, man, I should have known. I should have known. I Follow me. Oh, fucking it. This is crazy. I should have known. You always go in these staff only parts. See, that's what they always. Wait. That's what they tell you in the TV. Take it from movies. here. I should have listened to movie logic. I wasted my time for nothing. Time to read. Put that shit down, dude. Ain't got time to read here. RA9, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're uh, what else? Look at them. They get used till they break and then they get tossed out. So, wait, what the hell? Okay. Damn it, Connor. There's no footsteps, so it's still here. Fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an ant. Android. They cook what you want. Yeah, dude. They screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, oh, you're gonna love this, gonna Hank. <laughs> you're gonna love this. Everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. here, huh? Gotcha! No! Don't move! No! Hey, watch out! Oh, God. Tag team match. <laughs> WrestleMania. Yo, she's got the heels. Bro, this ain't fair at all. She's got these beats. God. Who? All right. Hank. Hank. Uh, pull. That didn't work. Uh, now I'm a kicker. 
Yeah. Spear. Ooh. Ah. Yo, I hit her with that Roman Reigns shit right there. Oh no. Was this a handicap match now? Quick, they're getting mm. away! Gotcha. Ooh. Oh, she's not bad. Yo, I'm still holding my own. This is incredible. Didn't know that to trust you. You know what? Look, it was self defense, okay? It was self defense. I feared for my life. Why? Why did it you It was self-defense. She had nothing to do with any of this. Collateral damage. When that man killed that Tracy. I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. Yes, I killed him. But I was just defending so myself. I. So you know where I'm coming from. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans. The smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But you've... You've taken her away from me. I love her. I loved her. Oh no. Oh! My God. Ah. Uh, that, uh. Well, I'm not sure Hank's gonna like me after that. <laughs> I can, yeah, that, uh, this, this isn't gonna go well. Uh, this isn't gonna go well. Alright, uh, show me the world stats. How many psychos are there like me? 39%. Uh, I knew it. I'm in the minority with this. Oh, hold on. It's Car in the gang. Here we go. The boy Luthor. My Alice. The squad is here. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Laco captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. <sighs> what if it was a lie? Just another trap. All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlatko killed them. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. I 
I've never seen snow before. It's pretty. It's slowing us down. But at least we won't meet any humans along the way. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zako even ever used probably it. Probably not. He probably doesn't seem like the guy that would use a car. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. Wait, what? Why? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? This doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. Alright, Alice. I'm sorry, but we gotta find shelter. Stay inside, Alice. Hopefully we don't, uh... Encounter any androids that talk to the third person because you know you can't trust them <laughs> Those are the ones you definitely can't trust All right, hold on. Oh, all right What is part of the uh, mechanic? What are we going to do? I don't know Continue on foot I guess it's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Okay. Uh, find shelter. Great. <laughs> this, uh... There's nowhere we can stay around here, Carol. Well, there's gotta be something. Right, I'm gonna walk. Cause I see a sign here. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Pirate's Cove. Yeah, that seems like the best place to go. <laughs> Arg me, mateys. Over there. shelter we have to get out of the cold all right looks like it's been abandoned for a while oh right, hold on there's one over here nah that ain't gonna work find anything no no place we could spend the night all right is there anything else something i might have missed Too windy, okay. Oh, wait, Cthulhu? All oh, hail our Lord and Savior Cthulhu. Let's see, this dude might know where to go. Maybe, we'll see. Examine. God Welcome damn it! Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. And he's dead. I will say this: he was dedicated to his job. So that's something to know. All right, let's find. Let's see. Hold on. That that giant skull. That might do the trick. Turn on. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I want to hear. Alright, what, what about that giant skull, though? I'm pretty sure that's probably a good place, right? Too small. Damn it! Look, we don't really have a lot of options here, so we gotta make the best of our uh, 
of our situation here. Oh, well, they certainly nailed the pirate theme. I will give them that. This place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find You're shelter. Telling me. Oh, well, hold on. There's an abandoned building. That's always good. Said no one ever. Well, it could be worse. Well, it looks like this is what we're going to do. <laughs> Alright, we just got to find a way to get in. Alright, come on, Slotko. <laughs> Help me out here. I'll handle this. Oh, good dude. Oh, I thought he was gonna just rip the whole door off. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, my man. <laughs> super kick. Super Yeah, super kick. There we go. He gave that door a big old big boot, brother. Find anything better. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Wait, there's a book here? US Iowa missing. American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea. Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Alright, uh destroyer cloud. Ooh. Okay, destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has been. Ha wait, oh, okay, sorry, I was still, <laughs> I was still covering it, messed me up. Uh, has disappeared at polar waters. In an inquiry is underway, but President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Man, y'all always blaming the Russians. Like, they're supposed I'll to be an ally, here. dude. Like, that why would they do that? <laughs> Russian aggression just reached a new level. American, America must respond. Hey, it's not like Italy where like every both world wars they just turned code because they were losing. Like I'm just saying, at least, at least, at least Russia is loyal. And if you're mad at me about that, then you should do your research on your history, brother. It's a known fact that Italy just betrayed whatever side they were supporting in both world wars because that side was losing. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond a blanket denial of any involvement, although Russian diplomat Nabokov pointed out that a U.S. destroyer class submarine has no business being in the Arctic anyways. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting to start. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? All Android ban, tip for music prize. Fans scream to traditionalists, weep. What is this, pale waves? Alright. Here for you. Here for you. Alright, man. I, man, I hope they got some shit on Spotify. I, want, I need to listen to that. The latest all Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label Digital Harmony. Well, at least it's not Sumerian, so that's good. Uh, it's hotly tipped to scoop best new artists at the Celebrate Music Awards. A public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the band in consideration of such award ceremonies, citing the erosion of artistic merit in music. Hey, you just gotta step your game up, man. You gotta, you gotta, you know, release some good shit. But with less than 5% of the music market now produced by human musicians, the call of traditionalists seem to be falling on deaf ears. A spokesman for the band said, Here for you is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. The music is all that matters to them. Yeah, so unless you got Motionless and White's new record, you can shut the hell up. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's something over here. Ooh, check, check gun. Ooh, let me, let me offer a cookie. 
There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. Come on, man. <laughs> You're killing me here, Alice. <laughs> That's the only reason I robbed this for you. Alright, let me check my gun and make sure it's all good. Alright, I still got it. Sweet. Hey, <laughs> you know me. Shoot first, ask questions later. Alright, let's see here. Oh, wait, I already read that. Okay. Uh, I gotta make a bed for Alice. Oh wait, damn it. All right, nine, of course. All these goddamn all right, nine shit. All right, take that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Nice skull and crossbone pillow right there. Where do I put this? Oh, okay, right there. <laughs> I was wondering where I was gonna put it. I thought maybe if I brought it in front of her, it would do something. Alice? Alice. Damn it! Oh, okay. Uh, that was that was almost scary. Why wow, that would not have been good. Must be normal when you can be extraordinary. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Yeah, Alice knows. Come on. Alice is the best. I will protect Alice with my life. I will murder for Alice if I have to. I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. Sleep tight, Alice. Sweet dreams. Can you tell me a story? Sure. I have nine thousand children's stories in memory. There once I have one for was you. an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly, everyone died. The end. All right, let's go in the night. This is a story about a knight who... No, not a story like that. Make one up okay. for Okay. This is a story about a little girl who lived alone in a big old house. Okay. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls. She was a vampire. The shadow that lived within her kept her from being happy. Oh, I like this so far. Then, she met a robot. The robot was lost. Who was just as lost as the little girl. Good stuff, good stuff. So they decided to run away together. To try to find a better life. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... They were together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant. My man. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? Let's do a happy end. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. 
Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. Man, you've been a little too exposed to the real world there, Alice. Like, come on, it's just a story. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Dallas. Sleep tight. All right. Talk to Luthor. All right. She's safe. All right, buddy. Let's talk. She's a sweet girl. She is. Yes. She's very brave. Have you ever heard of RA9? RA9 was the first of us to awaken. One day he will rise up and lead our people and set us all oh free. Oh boy. <laughs> what if RA9 never comes? What if he's just a story that we tell ourselves to keep each other going? R.A. 9 exists. I believe in him. I know he's amongst us. What if when it's the time she, comes, we will all see him. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Uh, what? No. What do you mean? Yo, what the hell? Cara! What the hell, man? This is like Night of the Living Dead. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, protect Alice. Yeah, the gun. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt oh, you. Oh, really? We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the- Talking to the third person, I don't trust him. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one oh, for a long no. time. Children, no, you still have to no, come and see no, us. No, 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 no. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want Bruh, to see? Bro, you better it? chill. I don't think she's in. She should follow us then. Bro, no, Alice. Alice, I don't know. If Alice, it's a good idea. no. I don't think you have any choice. All right. Well, as long as Luther is here with us, it should be fine. Our guest. All right. How about, oh, okay. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. Okay. Pressing God, y'all know me. Look how happy she was. It's the first. 
first time I've seen her smile. She hasn't had much to smile exactly. about lately. This doesn't warm your heart. You have no soul. I'm just saying. All right, Pirates Cove. Do do a smile on her face. Let's see here. Well, hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, uh, got a crap gun. Oh my god. That, uh... Hmm. Alright, well, let's continue. Uh, you know, yeah. Let me, let me extend this. Since this is gonna be a longer episode anyways. I'll do... Three more chapters, then I'll call it a day. Since I got nothing else to do. Alright, Hank. Someone's bothering you. What can I do to help you? Look, I, look. I'm sorry I shot her, but in my defense, she was running towards me. Like, what? How was I supposed to know? You know, how was I supposed to know? It's like, what'd you want me to do? What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Komsky. Uh, okay. Let's read this, I guess. Uh, in 2028, so that's about like 10 years from now, Elijah Komsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Andrews didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live restructured our family life and altered the balance of society forever whether for good or bad shortly after Komsky had disappeared ousted as ceo of cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare the man of the century has left the very world that he created Komsky's story begins in 2018 hey that's this year that's this year when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups, the college graduate bet what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail until hitting on two breakthroughs, blue blood and bio components. Okay, so he created androids. Interesting. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing, is Turing or Turing? Turing test and studying the world Plans were laid for mass production as Cyberlife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet at the peak of Cyberlife's powers, when the company was approaching a $500 BN valuation, rumors emerged that Komsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances. Today's sources claim Kofsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Komsky? Mm. <laughs> Marcus predict war. Well, that's not, that's not a surprise. There's a war going on every day. Oh, come on, man. Okay, I've read all I wanted to read. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What do we do now? What do we, Oh, Hank's over there, okay. Alright, Hank, like I said, I know the choice. It was self-defense. I know you hate me. But you know what? We can we can build on this relationship. I trust in us. Nice view, huh? I'd say so. I used to come here a lot before. Oh no, he's drinking. This isn't gonna end well. Personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? 
Do all androids ask so many personal questions? It's just, just me. you. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. Mm, that sounds like a YouTube content creator. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Nah, you're hiding something, Hank. I need you to be a little honest with me. What, you're drinking? You're supposed to be more I'm open now. not making now. any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You got me. You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Did you feel anything when that girl killed herself? Okay, Tom? hold on, Hank. Or did you just not give a shit one way or the other? I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. No, Hank. Don't do this. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Ooh! not go well. <laughs> Thirteen per cent. Okay, that uh
Yo, dude, chill out. <laughs> Can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Oh shit! You know they'll never listen to us, and revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Oh shit! Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. All right, hold on. Oh wait, hold on. L one. Do da da da. How do I want to do this? Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Yo, look I'm at me okay. with the suits. Yo, I'm in the, <laughs> the clean suit. Oh my God. Yo, <laughs> this is wild, smartwatch. Well, I see that hasn't changed. Bro, I can't, I can't get over the suit I'm wearing. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. All right, well, this isn't gonna be easy. Uh, if, if I know managers, it's uh, they don't relent. Home address, okay. Uh, wait, hold on, uh, there's that. Oh, a parking badge, nice. Emily Wilson, daughter, okay. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing. Yo, is my mouth moving? Pick her up. Oh no, all right. Oh, I'll be right there. Yo, that's wild, dude. That's like. Predator technology right there. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Y yes, yes, of course. Of course, here it is. Oh! I need your help. Gotcha. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thank you so much. Thanks. You're looking good. Okay. Oh. Use elevator. All right. Oh. Well, uh, wait, which one? I thought that was an elevator. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> dirt. All right, here we go. Package in men's bathroom. Whomst? You are here. 
So wait, I gotta, I gotta take a, let's see, I gotta, I gotta take a right, continue down, and then take a left. Okay, so that cafeteria is right there, so I go. Man, oh wait, hold on. Oh wait, that's a newsroom. That's not what I want to do. Yeah, here we go. This, see, man, my directional skills is on point. It's immaculate. All right, now where's the package at? Of course, the one that's green. <laughs> Why did I even check? I thought that maybe it would have been a little bit less obvious, but you know, whatever. Maybe it's a lot easier. I won't complain about that. Sorry about that brief pause. I was, uh, my phone buzzed. I checked what it was. Nothing too exciting. You know, it, it's not like my Tinder matches are messaging me or anything. Because, you know, that'd be. <laughs> That'd be too good. Ah, oh, hold on. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. So we ditching the clean suit for uh for that. All right. So we're an android posing as a human, posing as an android. I'm the dude. Playing the dude, disguised as another dude. Shouts out to all the people in the conversation that know that movie. Oh, found ya. Alright, come here, buddy. Hey, what's up, dude? I need your help. Thank you. Steel maintenance cart. All right, <laughs> I've already stolen before, so this should be no problem. A master thief at work. Open a fire escape. Where's that? At? Oh my God! Open fire escape. Oh my God! Do I have to look at the map to find that? All right, I need to look at the map. All right, where's your, where's your damn fire escape at, dude? Cafeteria. Is this it? Okay. All right, what up, North? <laughs> I'll see you back in the mix. Alright, let me follow her. Ooh, she got that ass. Nice. She looking good. Look, Marcus, I'm gonna try Shit. to get you with her, but it's gonna be hard, room. probably. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Yep, I was dead ass about to say that. Alright, how am I gonna do this? So wait, how do, you, how do you want me to do this? Oh, okay, there's a couple options right here. Go shooter! <laughs> That's not gonna... Man, I ain't got time to read! Come on, dude. Y'all slacking here. Hack. <laughs> gotcha. All right, you get the platform. I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one All else right. gets in. Lock it. There we go. 
don't want any you know, unexpected surprises. Good thing, good north. That's why, as of now, you are best girl in this game. Well, you know, besides Kara. But yeah, that's a, that's a given. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Mission Impossible? Yo. <laughs> We uh, laser saw, dude. This is straight up Mission Impossible. Wow, you got the you got the vacuum suction cups and the laser saw, dude. You ain't fooling me. You ain't fooling me. Here it comes. Alright, come on North, I got you. If you want, I can hold your hand. Ladies first. Hold on, I'm about to press all these buttons. Hold on, let me get my controller ready. <laughs> Kick. You okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. What's up, guys? Let's do this. Let's do this? All right, destroy main's door lock. Oh, what is this, a bomb? It's a bomb. Let's look around. Okay, there is just that. All right. I just didn't know if there was like anything else in here. There probably was if I looked hard enough, but yeah, <laughs> not me. No killing. We can't take any human lives. Cause is more important than the lives of two gods. <sighs> Damn it, Norris. What do you want to do, Marcus? We gotta be. Wait yeah, here. we gotta be as stealthy as one. Damn it, Norris. We need to be stealthy about What's this. What's that doing here? All right. No idea. Hey, buddy. Ah, I'm just kidding. What are you doing? Hey, <laughs> y'all thought I wasn't gonna pull out a gun. Y'all me. Y'all must be out of your damn mind.
Yeah, North Sea, I compromised. Man, that camera saw everything. <laughs> Man, Connor's gonna come after me if he survived that, that is. Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, what? All right. Ah, uh, three. Oh, wait, hold on. We all got guns? Bruh, this ain't gonna end well for them. Hero pizza delivery. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. All right, no funny business. No funny business. Ah, right, damn it, dude. Shoot him, Marcus. Don't kill him. He'll hit the alarm. Shoot him. No. no. There was no other choice. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. Wait, stand in front of Josh? Who? Think carefully about what you're gonna say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. The, the android... Marcus, your face. ...revolution begins, and that is... Undisputed. Remove skin. Oh, hold on. Yo, what? Tell me when you're ready. <sighs> All right, guys. Let's see how badly I fucked this up. Ready. Determined. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. Equal rights. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. Good stuff. Good stuff. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Means of reproduction, hell yeah. We demand control of all android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here. Yeah. You know, I don't think we did too bad, to be honest. I don't think we did too bad. It was direct, but it was also a bit of a threat. If you fuck with us, you're gonna die. That's exactly how I wanted to get my message across. Oh wait, hold on, jetpacks? Or parachutes? Congratulations, Marcus. You just made oh, history. thank you. Maybe you're the one who oh, I am RA9. Jump! Oh, 
I'm Batman! We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated Renee Young. the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 6. Good job like on the promotion, Renee Young. Skin, listed a you series deserve of it. Requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty. A broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out Look, live. you can't Everybody have a message without a few if casualties to get your point across. And the really just saying. Androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security claims for Renee Young seem to be at the core of the Android's this message. message is clearly a declaration of war their extravagant demand that Android production plants be put under their control is especially is striking. An isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us after what happened today can we still trust our machines When a plan comes together, I'm guessing that's what it says anyways. Yeah, this could have gone like a completely different direction. 27%. All right, let's see. Uh, end determinately. All right, so a lot of people ended peacefully. That's not what I'm about. I'm letting, you, I'm letting them know. If you don't meet our demands, serious consequences are going to happen. Hey look, hey, look, see? Half the people are psychotic as me with shooting the operator. I'm just saying. I'm not alone. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, wait, no, Kara? Hmm, interesting. All right, Amanda. What, are you going to reprimand me again? It wasn't my fault, all right? Hank was drunk. He lost control. So I don't want you to be yelling at me. Okay? I did the best I could. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Okay. Oh, hold on. How many buttons are we pressing here? Is that it? I love this place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Mm. Far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Ah. Uh. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hoped to learn something, but I had to destroy them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. <sighs> perturbed? No. No, of course oh. not. Why would I be perturbed? There's something going on with Connor. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I understand. Something's happening. Storm's coming. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Why did you shoot me last night? 
Who cares? You're back this morning, aren't you? Some fragments of memory are lost every time I'm destroyed. It slows down the investigation. My humblest apologies. I promise I'll never shoot well, you again. Thank you, Lieutenant. 79. 79. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Tell them the fuck off. Ah, this Chris, is our investigation. Get the on our back. I knew this was going to be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Hmm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. That's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Hmm. So I'm guessing you want me to analyze it? How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then make. Yeah, let me analyze this. If they're get away from the Even though I know, I know what happened. Roof. Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. I know what happened, but you know, I'm, I'm still gonna. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out where they landed. Landing, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen. Over there. Damn it, I knew it! Over there. I knew they were gonna catch me. <laughs> oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? Hey, it's just one of those days. You sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. The FBI will be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. Right. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Wow, you seem real pleasant. What a fuck. I know, that's what I was saying. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. Alright, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive, and we demand our freedom. Think that's RA-9? Maybe. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Oh, wait, hold on. Optical unit, blue iris, spare part. Deviant had accomplices. Yo, Connor's going in. There's something I'm missing here. What is it I'm missing? I got those. Oh, hold on. Our RK series prototype RK200 registered as Marcus. Get from Elijah Komsky to Carl Manfred. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Oh.
Yeah, maybe next time you shouldn't have shot me. Maybe I'd be more open next time. But you know, whatever. That's, that's your call. You do what you want, Hank. A cap. Stolen maintenance cap. Yup, that's what we did. Roof access. Yeah, hold on. I'll get to that in a bit. Speech was shot from here. Is there anything else? I missed. Oh, okay. There's something right over here. Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Nah, dude, something's going on. Oh, sucky ducky, quack, quack. The kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. All right, excuse me, excuse me, Hank. <laughs> you see, I think I'll go a little ahead of you since you're walking a little too nonchalant. Alright, where, where are they at? <laughs> Kitchen. Damn it. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. Damn it, Hank, where'd you go? <laughs> Damn it. This is what I get for going ahead. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Has forensics turned up anything? No, but hold on. I can look. Uh, I'll check them. Okay, I can wait. All right. Yeah, let me check the rooftop first. Pretty sure, I mean, there might not be any clues, but you know, whatever. It's where they'll look. Okay, so that's the kitchen. I don't know what Hank's doing, but the kitchen's in there. So after I'm done checking this roof, y'all's ass is grass. Jumped off the roof with parachutes. Yeah, man, they were smart. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Starting to put the clues together. So that's the gun. <laughs> okay, and then there's something right over here. Oh, I gotta check. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> the Damn it! I'm trying to get through. 
God, what a bunch of assholes. Deviant hack the door to block it, okay. Well, is there anything else? I guess I'm opening the door. Damn it, I didn't finish. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, man, I didn't, yeah, I didn't finish investigating it, dude. There's probably still something up there I didn't see. I'm trying to get this, like, long... <laughs> I'm never gonna get 100% complete, but I'm trying to like get all the check marks. I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to get all the check marks done. All right, so yeah, hang, <laughs> get back up here. I'm not done. There's still something else. There's something we're not getting here. Probably, we probably gotta talk to them. Yeah, see, I knew there was something. Gotta look at the trajectory, I guess. It's time to question them. Let's go in the kitchen. You can play good cop hang and I'll play bad cop because that's what I'm good at. I mean, if, we, if we've discovered anything about myself, it's that I'm good at playing bad cop. Because I have no mercy and no remorse. You know that a little too well, Hank. Right, no. Kitchen. Where is that at? Where is the kitchen at? Is it here? Is this the kitchen? Aha! Gotcha. Which one of you is it? Which one of you is it? I know one of you is guilty. I can see it in your eyes. All right, look for a reaction to spot a deviant. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Okay. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. That's not good enough. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. That's not good enough. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! Stonewall, huh? All right, I can play that game. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. You're blinking a little too fast there, buddy.
If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Alright, you know, I'm sick of these games. You wanna play that game, huh? I know exactly what to do. Bio component 8451. Regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. But you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Answer the damn question. Oh, it is him. I knew it. No. Where is it at? Oh, L2, L2, L2. Put in prison gun. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I only got. Uh, Draw seconds. Okay, I got a minute. All right, thank God. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh my God. Hey, there's a deviant. I found it. just couldn't get there in time man all right this will be the last chapter I do today we end up here? What happened that I missed? Hello? I'm looking for Rose. Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Come Go on, away. dude. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. I got help a little you? girl. Come on. It's better if we talk right. inside.
you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. Come in. Come on, Alice. It's gonna be okay. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. What's your name? Alice. See, it's the dudes you can't trust. It's the women you can trust in this She's game. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? Like, the cinematics to gameplay is just seamless, man. It's incredible. Like, this is, like, the next evolution of games, and I'm alive to... I'm, I'm happy to be alive to see this, is what I'm trying to say. I know I struggle with my words, but, yeah. That's what I meant to say. Oh, wait, hold on. sleep and we'll set off again tomorrow why do humans hate us we didn't do anything wrong maybe it's a misunderstanding maybe they just need time to understand what we really are why can't we just talk to that's each what other? i've been saying they'd see we're not bad i don't know I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous. Hey, that, that yeah, that's that good shit right there. there. I've had that. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. Sleep tight, Alice. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. I, mean, I probably should have thrown her to eat, but you know what? It should be fine. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Well, you know what? This is usually what I do. I usually sleep, and then I wake up and I eat. So that's probably what's going to happen. You know, she'll get a little rest, then she'll wake up, and we can just reheat it, and it'll be fine. Because that's what I do. Or, you know, you could just eat, and then, you know, you'll just get so tired from eating that you'll fall asleep. So, you know, there's that, there's that option, too. I'm just saying. I didn't get your name. Kara. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. I'm starting to figure that out. Come and have a seat, Kara. Okay. Well. Thanks for the hospitality. So are you going to tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? I might. It's a long story. All that matters now is that we move on from here and start a new life. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. 
My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. Hey, no risk, and no after reward. And android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We don't have a choice. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to We've been hiding her. too much, Rose. We can't do that we anymore. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come Ro quickly. Yo. Who is that? Oh no. Oh my god. What's going on? What's going on? It's Mary. Who? She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? All right, nine. God damn it. All right, nine's everywhere. Alice, you probably Alice? don't want to see this. What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. <sighs> I mean, this probably isn't the best choice, but she's probably going to figure this out sooner or later. stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. All right, it's the Rose. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was oh, still no. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! It's finally reached that breaking point. Okay, this probably isn't the best time to talk, but I'm probably going to do it anyways. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? 
You stay here. I won't be long. Look around. Damn it, no, dude, I don't have time to read. I don't have time for that, dude. Okay, uh, there's a TV. Hey, Alice, you wanna watch uh, My Hair Academia? Well, hold on. Yeah, let's check on Alice. Let's make sure that she's all right. You know what happened back there, don't you? You know, but you don't want to tell me? That's like, uh... I mean, we probably should talk about it, but I mean, you've been through a lot, so I don't want to really burden you with that. Yeah, let's turn on the TV. Yeah, to get some, get some My Hair Academia going on. There is on. widespread shock following the Android attack on Detroit's Stratford Tower. The machines recorded a video message and broadcast what can only be described as demands on the city's public screens. It's still unclear whether these attacks can be explained by malfunctions or if some organization is behind them. So far, CyberLife has refused to of comment, course. but we can expect more information in the following hour. You get one. The police. Oh no. It's the police. No, 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 no. What are we gonna do? I mean, I can't help. They know we're here. We have to open the door. All right. So there's, there's, there's evidence I knew right this there. God. <laughs> Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. Hide. Uh, upstairs. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. Okay. Uh. There's something over here. Damn it. Reassure. Reassure. Just keep calm, Adam, and everything will be alright. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Uh, shit, there's two more things. Oh my god. Oh my god, there, it's in that room. Oh my god, I got 13 seconds! One left. Oh my god. What could possibly be left? No. There's one more thing. Damn it. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Of course. Oh my god, here man. we go. Good evening. I fucked up. I forgot something. It was probably upstairs. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? Wait, what? Where? I, I heard a noise. No. No, nothing in particular. Okay, let's, uh... Is anyone else in the house? Uh... No. No, just us. Do you have any androids here? No, there are no androids here.
and make that good coffee. That Starbucks level coffee. Double chocolate chip frappuccino. Alright. There's something I'm missing. I don't know what it is. But there's something here I'm missing. Because it says there's one thing. What's with the blue blood? And I don't know what it is. I thought you didn't have any androids. Uh. Previous owner. It, it belonged to the, the previous tenant. I, I still haven't cleared all that out yet. Alright, what is it I'm missing? What am I missing? Because I know I'm missing something. Yeah, if you drink your coffee, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, what am I missing? I know I'm missing something, and I don't know what it is. It's probably upstairs. Okay, 25. Ooh, thank God. Yeah, see, I didn't even read the book. Ah, damn it! I thought there was no one else in the house. Uh, uh, I, I forgot there's, um, there's my daughter upstairs. Yeah, oh my god. <clears throat> See, they ain't there. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? Please. No. No. I haven't seen anything. Alright, what's your suspicion level at? I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Oh my god. Is somebody else in the house? <laughs> it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the convenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam. Let go, baby! Oh, thank God. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose! Get yourselves ready. We leave oh. tonight. Nothing to see here. Wait, discovered the blue blood? What's he talking about? I didn't see any blue blood. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. Eighty-four percent. We did the thing. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the longest episode I've done because I had plenty of free time. Uh, be sure you guys give this a thumbs up for this two-hour episode of Detroit Become Human. We've been playing together for a while now. Yeah. I was wondering, uh -huh. are we friends? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Hopefully a bit more than that, but yeah. 
I agree. There's no reason a human and a machine can't be friends, Yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, I'm glad you said yes. Yo. <laughs> I'm about to slide in Chloe's DMs, brother. And that's a fact. Alright, so... This is uh, getting really, really interesting with every decision I make. Now, with uh, Kara, her path, I'm trying to be a bit more motherly, a bit more gentle. But if I need to, I will do what I must. <laughs> with uh, with Connor, uh, my relationship with Hank isn't the best, and I'm working on it. And with Marcus... I'm a ruthless leader, but this, but I'm still fair. So, I can't wait to play this again. I can, if I had it my way, I'd be... The most important thing is not to live, but to have a reason Martin to Luther live. King? That's a quote from okay, George Romain, the French writer. <laughs> I thought it was Martin Luther King, because she likes to quote him a lot. Uh, but yeah, if I had it my way, I'd be playing this game for like a whole day. But since I'm exporting this over to YouTube and views matter on YouTube, in fact, you got like movie trailers saying watch till the end, even though nothing happens. So I'm not gonna do that. Two hours and 20 minutes is enough. In fact, some people would say that's a little uh, ridiculous, but I'm just saying that the story is hooking me. So, whenever I do have a chance to play this game, y'all know I'm coming in with the guts, and I have a feeling that this. The game is about to end pretty soon. So with that being said, y'all, rock and scream, cuckoo, kachoo.